So last week we talked about places where we were thinking of living and we seem to have narrowed it down a little bit. We narrowed it down to one. We actually applied uh, to get an apartment in Coyoacan. <laughs> we okay, wanted we, to show you a we, little we'll, bit more of the Coyoacan we love. That sounds great. <laughs> I want to I wanna know more. How about you? <laughs> Hi, I'm Greg. And I'm Alice. And we're punk expats living in Mexico. Last time we saw each other, we were showing you places that we were looking into. Uh, we showed you Noche Buena, which a lot of you like, Santa Maria La Ribera. Which I like. Del Valle, which was not a favorite with anyone, but I think maybe <laughs> we just didn't shoot the, the parts that we liked. Coyoacan. Manicured gardens, cobblestone streets, colonial buildings, beautiful colors, a historic and vibrant arts and culture scene, wonderful places to eat. Coyoacan had it all. A trip to Frida Kahlo's Casa Azul is a must for any art lover. You'll find interesting little shops along the way and a big market called the Mercado de Coyoacan where you can get fresh fruits, vegetables, nuts, artesanías. La Plaza de la Concepción, or La Conchita, is Mexico's oldest church. Our friend Sara from the band Solga took us to Viveros de Coyoacán, where we went shopping for plants, not carnivorous. We only bought vegan plants. Actually, we didn't buy any plants at all. We just walked along and looked at all the plants. And then she took us to the area where all the trees are. And you can get lost in there, so they provide a handy map. Back in 1901, a man named Miguel Angel de Quevedo donated this land and with help from some of the muckety mucks in Mexico, started planting a wide variety of trees that you can now see and walk through. It is considered the lungs of the city. An interesting thing about Coyoacan is that you can go from the influence of Porfirio Diaz to the influence of Leon Trotsky. What? Yes. Yes, Leon Trotsky lived in Mexico for a while, and he died here too. Murdered with an ice pick. Lots of our friends told us we had to check out the Cineteca Nacional, which is located in Coyoacan, and we had no clue that we were so close to it. This place is like Mecca for film lovers. It's dedicated to the preservation and restoration of lost films, as well as the screening of old and new international films. So for those of you who are into the more macabre, haunty tourism, uh, there is El Callejón del Aguacate, Greg dragged us there one night after we'd had one too many bags of Dory Esquites, which are a horror show in itself. Doritos and Esquite mixed together. Anyway, I digress. Here is our little excursion with Violeta and Sara of the band Soga. We are kind of half hoping to meet a spirit, but also dreading it, as ghost hunting often goes. Lots of scary myths and legends abound in this area, so if you're into ghost hunting, Coyoacan just might be the place for you. So we've shared some of the reasons we settled on Coyoacan. We did take a hard look at a lot of areas, and thank you all for all of your suggestions and your votes. It was a tough decision, but in the end it came down to what was the right balance for us. Uh, we wanted to be close to things, but not right in the middle of things, if that makes sense. We really like the feel of Coyoacan, which is a little bit more relaxed than an area like Del Valle or Santa Maria La Rivera, which are right in the middle of the city. Also, we did look at apartments in all those places, mm -hmm. and a lot of it had to do with just what is available, what we're looking at specifically. Mm -hmm. Like, we looked at some places that were really nice, but just didn't fit our vibe, and there were places that were in disrepair, uh, where the landlord said, well, I'll fix things after you pay the first month's rent. So uh, we opted not to do that. So we have filled out an application, as we told you at the top of this video, and please keep your fingers crossed. 
as changuitos for us. Hopefully we will get it and we'll be living in Coyoacan. And if we do, we will share that with you. We will talk in future videos about all the paperwork and the things that you need because it is a process, particularly as we found out in Mexico City, which has pretty strict rules protecting uh, renters. So landlords tend to be a little bit more uh, guarded as far as how they craft their paperwork and the requirements. Uh, but there's a lot to go into. It's a separate video. Anyway, thanks again. Thanks for watching. And uh, please subscribe. If you enjoyed what you see, hit the like button. We will see you again soon. Bye.